I know Aaron, again, had the Brett Kulak anytime goal, and he was living good. Let's start with him. The goal was awesome, and it's great to see a guy like that get rewarded because I think he's been their most consistent defensive defenseman in this series. He's been actually fantastic. Um, so you know, watching the game last night on TV and they're, they're talking about some of the points and you see a guy like him, he's big, he can skate, he's positionally sound and all of that stuff is coming to fruition right now. You know, there's one clip I remember seeing where he goes back to the puck there's a guy on him. He holds him off with one hand. He just uses his speed, skates it all the way out, and then gets it in the zone. And you're like, wow, that's pretty impressive. Like, it wasn't that it was super flashy or anything like that, mm -hmm. but it was just one of those plays where you're like, it separated him from somebody else. And when you start to have guys that are your depth pieces doing that, now your team is really, really good and they're becoming more of a problem. So it, it's nice to see Kulak starting to shine and his confidence is at an all-time high. Like the confidence is just the thing for me. Yeah. Like early in the season, we were not seeing a guy make the little sidestep at his own blue line and then just skate the puck in. Yeah. Like there's been plenty of moments yeah. in this series where he hits, again, hits the red line and it'd be easy for him to one leg up, toss it in the corner. And he kind of now goes like, oh, I got space. I can burn this guy wide. And he's He's like extending looks, extending chances for this team. He's yeah. been awesome. It almost seemed like his confidence started to really peak after he had that missile of a shot in that 10-game winning streak. I can't remember the team that they played against, but he came down on the left-hand side, um, and he ripped that thing far side, yeah. and it was an absolute laser. And it almost seemed like the minute that happened and he got that goal is when his confidence just started to peak because ever since that time, He's been just steadily getting better and better and better. His first career playoff goal and his 44th career playoff game. We kind of talked about like, you know, the Oilers lost Duncan Keith and we we're like, oh man, that veteran leadership, you're going to miss it come playoffs. Like Brett Kulak's a guy now who's been on a couple of runs, went deep with Montreal, went deep with the Oilers last year. Then you include Ekholm in that group. I, I don't think they're missing anything in that department. And <laughs> Kulak, as mistaken Mexican said in the chat, he's a peak playoff performer. He really is a guy whose game just, kind of finds that little bit of a next gear come playoff time. Also should give a shout out to his partner, Vinny DeHarnay, who I thought was miles better in game five. That was his best game of the series. Yeah, he wasn't rushing plays. He was a little bit more safe. He was just, he was controlled in what he was trying to do. And, you know, guys like that, where they allow the game to start to come to them as opposed to trying to chase a game, they just settle in and their game amplifies. So once again, you get in the playoffs, like simplicity in playoffs matters mm -hmm. and making sure that you're predictable for your teammates, obviously unpredictable for the, the opposition team. It just elevates your game. So you see Kulak, like all of his strengths say you're going to elevate in the playoffs and that's what you're seeing. And because he's had those long runs, you know, with Montreal and these different teams, like it just helps. And that experience is, is shining through. Then you add Ekholm. Once again, he's been on long playoff runs. Like, you've got a group right now that knows what it takes to kind of get to the dance. They don't know what it is necessary to win it yet, yeah. but they definitely know what it takes to get to the dance, and you're seeing a team that's starting to figure that out now. Liam, you liked Vinny more last game? I, I didn't notice him, so that was that was nice. That is that's, the, that's that's the way you want it. The best yep. thing you want from him. Nothing went in the back of the net he made, when he made a mistake. I know he was on the ice for the first goal, but that wasn't really his fault, was it? Yeah, so. no. Good game, Vinny. Keep it up. Broberg's been actually pretty good, too. Yeah, he, he has been yeah. very good. I was actually surprised the minutes kind of went the way they did last night. 14 time. at I, 5 on 5 yeah. for Vinny, 8 for Broberg. thought they'd be a little bit closer, they maybe do. like a 12 and 12 or something like that. So but I think that's Woody showing faith in his guy, right? I mean, he's sitting there and saying, hey, we're going to have confidence in you. Like, there's a reason why we're keeping you in the lineup. There's a reason why you were a regular NHL defenseman from January 13th onwards, right?